Hey, it's Larry Lursey. Welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at blending modes, specifically the divide blending mode. I think if you asked most people to name as many blending modes as they can, you'd get soft light, hard light, overlay, normal, multiply, a lot of these. I doubt anybody would come up with divide. I know that I wouldn't come up with it. I mean, if you asked me today, I'd come up with divide because that's what I'm thinking about. But if you had asked me a week ago, I would never think of divide as a blending mode. And it seems like something that is just totally useless. One of those options that's in Photoshop that nobody uses. You assume somebody uses it, but you're not using it. We're going to take a look at how to do some color correction with it, which is really unusual. And it kind of takes the right type of image to make it work. But when it does, really is a cool use of the blending mode. So we'll take a look at that. If you don't know about blending modes in general, I did another video on that that uh, you can certainly check out and get a little more info on that. If you're ready to learn about using the divide blending mode, let's jump right in. Hit it. Okay, so here's an image we're going to take a look at that has um, the colors just a little bit off. We know this because it's on a she's on a gray seamless, and this does not look gray at all. Um, so we know our color is a little bit off, and so we're going to try and use this trick using the divide blending mode. And so here's what you're going to do. It requires to to make it work. You've got to have something that is white in the image. So we've got an image here where she's wearing this white outfit first thing we need to do is select this color so what we'll do is just click on this front patch to get the color picker up here and go through we want to pick an area that's white but not blown out white now you've got some areas on this that are already close to blowing out like right along there and up there so we don't want that we want we don't want shadow but we want kind of that next level down where it should be pretty much white uh, but if we pick the pure white, it's not going to get any information. So we're going to pick like right next to it. If you can see the difference between that's pure white, this has got a little bit of gray to it. We're going to pick through there, and you can see that that color is not really a uh, pure white. So picking right about in there, that should work. We hit OK. Then we come over here to the uh, little circle with the slash through it. And you're going to click on that and pick solid color. Now it is basically filled in a, a layer on top of her with the color from those uh, where we sampled on the pants. So we'll hit OK. Then what we want to do is come up here and this is where the crazy part is. We are going to go through the blending modes and pick divide like that. And if you look here, if we turn it off and on Look at our background now, it's it's actually gray. So we go from that to gray. And the skin tones go from that to much more normal skin tones. Now, the problem you may notice is these whites have blown out on us now. Worse so than they even were. So, easy fix for that. As luck would have it, you just basically double click here to bring up this color picker again. You're going to come down and click B for brightness. And we basically just start pulling this up and as we do, those highlights will come back, hit OK, and now we've gotten most of those back. Again, here we're a little hot like we were before, um, but as you can see through here, we've gotten all this texture back. And if we look at the before and after, definitely looks so much more color balanced than the one before. So it's a pretty easy trick. It doesn't work with all the images. For one, you have to have um, white in the image for it to work. But um, when you've got the right image, it really does a nice job of fixing that color. So as you can see, it's kind of a very specific thing that you would use this for, at least from my experience. But it really is helpful, and it's a nice way of getting that color adjustment. As long as you've got something white in the image, it really does a good job. Uh, I'm curious if you've tried it, or maybe you found another use for the divide blending mode. I'd love to hear about it. Maybe we'll take a look at some of the other uh, more obscure blending modes in future videos. If you haven't had a chance, please uh, subscribe to the channel and click the little bell so that you know when we have new content coming out because we've got a whole bunch of stuff planned for the next several weeks and I don't want you to miss out. So I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.